Pakistan not to blame for climate crisis fuel flooding, say Prime Minister Shabab Sharif. Pakistan is not to blame for a climate crisis fuel disaster that has flooded much of the country, the Prime Minister has said, as he made a desperate plea for international help in what he said was the toughest moment in the nation's history. We are suffering from it, but it's not our fault at all. Shabab Sharif told journalists on Tuesday afternoon at a press conference where his climate change minister referred to the flooding as a climate catastrophe. We are dealing with a situation I have not seen in my life, Sharif said. More than one million houses are damaged or destroyed. Seventy-two districts of Pakistan's are in calamities, and all four corners of Pakistan's are underwater and more than 3,500 kilometers of roads have been washed away. Around one million animals have died. It is the toughest movement in the history of Pakistan. He has never seen such flood in his life. Now I say without fear, I have not seen much devastation in my life, he said. We requested the international community to come and help us and stand by us at this hour. The flood has cost up to $10 billion in damage, he said, adding that there would be a transparency on all assistant funds donated. Sherry Rayman, Pakistan's climate change minister, said towns had become oceans and rivers. But due to climate heating, she expected the country to go straight into a drought in upcoming weeks. We are on the front of unfolding climate catastrophe. Rayman said Pakistan was responsible for less than 1% of global greenhouse gas emission. Our footprint is so small. There are countries that have got to become rich on the back of fossil fuels, and let's be honest about this, she said. Now the time has to come to make a change, and we all have a role to play, but they have a greater role in this climate catastrophe. At the same press conference, Ashan Ibab, the Planning and Development Minister, said, People are enjoying their lives in the West, but someone here is paying the price. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned that Pakistan was facing a moon soon on steroid, as the government issued more flood warning for the next 24 hours. Heavy rains over two months have caused the nation's worst flooding in more than a decade. Guterres said on Tuesday that South Asia was a hot spot for climate crisis and that the catastrophic flooding in Pakistan that had left tons of million needing help was a warning to every nation of the destructions reckoned by human causes global heating. The Pakistan people are facing a moonsun on steroid. The relentless impact of epochal level of rains and flooding, he said. It breaks my heart to see these generous people suffering so much. The UN has issued an urgent appeal for $160 million to provide help. People living in these climate crisis hotspots are 15 times more likely to die from climate impact, Guterres said. As we continue to see more and more extreme weather events around the world, it is outrageous that climate action is being put on the back burner putting all of us everywhere in growing danger. In Pakistan, the Balochistans and Sid province have had more than four times the average rainfalls of the last three decades. Mai Ali Buhayo, 30, left his hometown in Sindh with 20 extended families member in the early morning on Monday after they heard of breaches in a nearby embankment. Buhayo said by telephone that he had advised his family to go toward Karichi, as many parts of Dadu and Baden district were underwater. We need ration, food, medicines and emergency help from the Sins government, and the government must help us to vacate. We have been left on our own, he said. More than 70% of the population in the city have left. The shops and all bazaars are deserted and many villages are underwater. The flash flood have affected more than 33 million people, officials said. 
The National Disaster Management authorities on Monday said the death toll from the moonsun rain and flood in Pakistan had reached 1,136, with 75 killed in the previous 24 hours. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.